hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how we can implement pagination in asp.net mvc using jquery okay so what we have here on the screen is we have some table records here for demo and what we are trying is we are trying to implement pagination on these records so uh, i will go to the page first and here you will see that i have uh, added one table structure over here with some demo demo records okay now uh, what we will do is we will use simple pagination library for uh, applying the pagination so we have this jquery jquery script file over here and then we have added simple pagination css file cdn and simple pagination js file cdn over here we will provide you the link of this file so don't you worry about that now after doing that uh, we have to write one uh, script method over here and so in the script method we have taken one div where we want to add the pagination so i have added the id over here okay now we have to pass the number of items which are on the screen so we are finding the length of all the records and then it is asking how many items can be on the page so we have written five over here so and there will be five items on each page so here we are using the css style light theme you can also use dark theme over here and on page click we are actually showing and hiding the data according to the pages so we often get page number over here like which page number you have selected and you can show and hide the data using this code over here now you can also uh, add a method to call to make a server call over here if you want to implement pagination using server side data then you can add a server call over here also okay so now i will just uh, run the page and so here when i will refresh the page you see pagination has been implemented now when i click on two it will show the data for the second page and on third it will show the data for the third page so you can see the previous is working over here and the next is also working so and this is how you can like implement pagination on table you can also do in the same for the div or any kind of html structure you just have to make sure that you are hiding the correct classes or ids that you want okay so basically and um, the length is important so you have to make sure that uh, you are counting the length by correct selectors and also that you are showing or hiding the data based on correct selectors these two are the important things okay so you can add a server side color over here and that will also work fine so this is how you can implement the simple pagination in asp.net mvc so if you need the code part then you can go to our official website codetonight.com and here you can search for simple pagination in asp.net mvc so here you will be able to download the attachments and uh, check out the code which i just showed you in the video so thanks for watching guys and uh, let us know the feedback if you face any issue